Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech and with the introduction of iOS 18 a couple months ago and now a few releases later, Apple has introduced hundreds and hundreds of features and changes. However, there's some you may not be aware of, so I thought we'd go over 10 or more top hidden features you may not be aware of. Now the first one has to do with voice memos. If we go into the voice memos app, you can record a simple voice memo of course, but if we go into a voice memo with this icon here, we have the option in the bottom left to go into transcripts. This actually interprets what you've said, puts it in sort of a written out format. And while that's really nice, if you have something such as Apple intelligence on the iPhone 15 pro 15 pro max and iPhone 16 series, you can go in here, just sort of tap on where you want and it will jump around or you can press and hold and then select everything, go into your writing tools, then go down and you can create a summary of it. Key points, a list, a table, you can proofread what you've said. And if we create a summary, it uses Apple intelligence to go over what I actually was talking about in the summarization here. So it says iOS 18 offers transcriptions and summarization features along with customization options and updates to various apps. So it's pretty good. As far as the overall summary, you can copy that, share it and share some feedback as well. Now, again, you can see the transcripts on all devices, but the summarization is available on Apple intelligence. Now, another feature you may or may not be aware of has to do with the control center. Apple changed it this year, added a bunch of customization, but a very simple feature in the upper right is something you may not be familiar with. There's a power button. Now, if you want to quickly shut down your phone, tap on the power button, you'll see you have to press and hold. So if you just tap on it, it won't do anything. If you tap it by mistake. If you do that and you don't want to shut down, just simply put in your passcode again, back in the control center, press and hold on the power button. And now we can power off the phone. It's a simple way to do that without having to use any of the buttons on the side. You can just power it down from the lock screen or your control center. Now within phone, there's a new feature you may not be familiar with. We'll go into phone. And once you go under the recents tab, at the top, we now have search. Now you may already be familiar with this. You of course can search by voice as well, but this does more than just allow you to search with your contacts or maybe a number. You can actually search for transcribed voicemail messages as well. So let's go ahead and enter that in here. Something that I have in voicemail and you'll see as I scroll down, it actually found the word within the transcriptions of my voicemail. So you'll see it here. I put in the word Charlotte and it actually says, Larry, this is Charlotte with Northlake. So it doesn't, exactly get the voicemail transcription correct. However, it recognizes keywords within voicemails that you may be looking for. You can see all of them as well that have that word in it. Now, if we're in a FaceTime call, we have an option. Many people may have already forgot about. We can now share our screen. So if we tap on the share icon, I can share the screen from here, share my screen, give it just a second to connect and it should show up over here. Now I can see the screen of this device. So if I swipe home, you'll see it there, tap on the overall screen. And then I could let someone know that maybe you need to go into settings so that you can do something I'm trying to walk you through. We also have the additional option in the bottom right here to try and control the screen as well. As long as the other person allows it, I can then actually remote control the screen. And now I can swipe through it. You'll see it in real time, go back and forth. And it's pretty simple control the screen and then help someone walk through what they're actually needing to do. So if I need to go into settings on this device, I can do that and it works just fine. So pretty simple and straightforward and something many people forgot you have the option for with the introduction of iOS 18, Apple gave us the ability to customize our phones much more than we could in the past. We have things such as dark mode icons, tinting and more. We'll come back to that in a moment, but widgets get a big update as well. Not only can we just add them like we always have with pressing and holding on the home screen and then tapping edit and then add widget. If there's widgets available for a specific app, press and hold on the app or haptic press, and you'll see different options along the top or bottom, depending on where it's placed at the top here, we'll switch to this widget. Maybe we want it to be a little bit larger. We can tap and change it, or maybe we don't want a widget at all. And we want to go back to the normal app size. You can now do that on any app where it's available. So certain apps may have different size widgets available. Some may, some may not. So the app store for the Apple store doesn't have it. The developer app has a few different options here and not all apps have it. Like I mentioned. So you'll see there's a couple sizes here for home, but not the full size one we have with all of the other ones I've shown you.
We also have some new customization options like I mentioned. And since many people always ask me if we go to edit and then customize, we have options at the bottom. Not only for dark mode icons, but one thing many people forget is that you have this icon here, this little sun icon. You can change the wallpaper to be dark or light. So maybe you switch to light mode here, then you switch to dark. It darkens the wallpaper, but you want the wallpaper to stay light. Tap the little sun icon and it stays light. If you really don't like to have all of the labels on every single app, tap large and they go away. Unfortunately, there's no way to actually have that on the small icons. Maybe they'll add that in the future, but hopefully that helps you sort of customize things a little bit better and hide labels or just make the screen how you want, whether it's tinted icons or something entirely different. I'll go back to dark, lighten the wallpaper, and we're back to where we started. Within photos, there's a couple nice features that many people may not be aware of. If we go into the photos app, you can fully customize this to make it similar to iOS 17. I've shown that before. Just go into customize and reorder, get rid of most things, and then you can customize pinned collections with your albums and more. It makes it look more like iOS 17. However, as long as you have utilities checked, there's a new way to search for things. So instead of just searching text throughout maybe one of the typed documents, you actually have a way to search for handwritten notes and find the text within those. So if we go to handwriting, you'll see all of the different things in here that I have that are handwritten. And if we search for something such as exhale tension, you'll see it recognizes that note under handwriting. So if we go into it, it recognizes it, then we can copy and paste the actual written words. It recognizes that and we can find whatever we'd like. So it's a really helpful feature if you're looking for text anywhere, not just type text now, but written text as well. Now, maybe we want to edit a photo such as this one I took of the Mac mini. We'll go into our edit options and of course it's a little bit dark. So we'll go into auto. Maybe we'll bring it over to brightness, bring that up just a little bit. And you may want to see what this looks like on a white background. If this is going to be for a thumbnail of a video, you may want to see what it looks like against a white background instead of a dark mode or dark background. To do this, we can go to the three dot menu in the upper right tap on it here, go to appearance, and then switch it between light and dark or system. If we go to light, you'll see what it looks like on the light background, or we can switch it back and see what it looks under a dark background. So this is very helpful if you edit any photos to sort of get the best overview of what it might look like in different situations. Also, there's something new that has to do with videos within the photo app. And you'll see within photos is a video I created for YouTube shorts. And as it continues to play, once it gets to the very end, it will actually loop back to the beginning. This is a new behavior in iOS 18 that you may not appreciate. So it started over again. And if you don't want it to do this, all you need to do is go into your settings, scroll down to apps under apps, find photos. So we'll go down to photos here and within photos, scroll down until you see loop videos. You have auto play motion or loop videos, turn off loop videos, go back to photos here, just swipe back and you'll see that once we get toward the end of the video, it will just stop instead of looping back to the beginning. So you can turn that on or turn it off, whatever works best for you. Finally, there's another feature within podcasts that many people might find helpful. If we go into podcasts and maybe we'll go into go into this one here. Now say you're listening to the Genius Bar podcast and there's a particular spot you want someone to hear that you really enjoyed or just wanted to share with someone else. Scroll to where you want to share that specific point and instead of someone else having to find that point you were talking about, go to your three dot menu, go to share episode, and then tap from start and change it to where you just left off. If you share it from 3623 in this case, it will actually share it from that specific point. And if we copy this or maybe paste it in notes, you'll see it actually shares in notes at that specific point. So we'll go ahead and save it to a new note. We'll go into notes and within notes, you can see the playhead has already moved to the point where we left off, go back into it and you'll see it's already here. So you'll see it there where it says play from 3623 and it's also here as well. So those are 10 plus features in iOS 18 and iOS 18.1 with Apple intelligence that help you get more out of your iPhone. Let me know if this was helpful to you. And many people ask me what widget this is as well. This is called Mercury weather. So it's from the app Mercury weather, and it has a really nice widget that you can customize. Of course, I'll link this wallpaper in the description below. And if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like as always. Thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.